So I'm just out here chilling with my dog, literally. And uh, guys, I sold the Jeep and I'm gonna be telling you what, uh, what I got. Um, I'm gonna also tell you how much I sold the Jeep for and all that good stuff, but I needed to switch it up. And for a good reason, not just for YouTube or for content or anything like that. Some of you guys might know that I bought my first house, renovated the whole thing, put like, 70 eighty thousand dollars into it and just fell in love with that process i know i'm going to be doing um, some more real estate stuff in the future maybe buying another house to fix it up and rent it and it was such a pain guys to haul stuff in the jeep i'd have to put all the seats down and then half the time it wouldn't fit i rented a trailer a few times so i definitely needed a yeah i don't want to give it away but something to haul stuff you guys are probably know what i got but um but yeah let's go let's go check it out Really excited to show you guys this vehicle. Stay there. And here it is, Toyota Camry. Awesome. No, that's my that's my girlfriend's car. It is a it's a nice it's a nice reliable vehicle, but it's just not not me. So here is my 1993 Ford F-150. This thing is badass. This paint job, love it. Um, it's only got 78,000 miles on it, guys. So. That's what I was looking for, a OBS truck, 1992 to 1996. As soon as 1997 came, came along, they changed the body style to more of a round body style. So these are called square body trucks, and I love it. I've been looking for over a month for the F-150s. We've got a Blackhawk there. I used to be a Blackhawk mechanic in the, in the army. But anyway, I was looking for an F-150 for over a month and the perfect one popped up on the market and I was on a hunting trip. I contacted my buddy. I said, hey, I got some money in the house. My girlfriend helped out and between the two of them and the mechanic that I had look at the truck, luckily I was able to get it. I got it for $11,000. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that was a good price or not. $11,000 for this truck, 78,000 miles. Um, I'm gonna give you a walk around of it, but yeah, it's got a six inch rough country lift, which I was gonna put in anyway, but I was wish I was hoping that I would buy a stock Jeep and do all this stuff too, but some awesome black wheels, which I would've went chrome here. So I don't know if it's gonna be worth switching to chrome to a more original uh, look on the Jeep. But yeah, so far these are 20s. 35 inch tires which cleared just fine there's a little bit of rubbing it came with the camper originally he wasn't going to throw this in but he did which was awesome because you can probably sell these things for a good amount of money he also threw in the original wheels and tires so see i like this where you know you got the white lettering here it's chrome that's how it's supposed to be i was just gonna you know throw on a different 35 inch tire we'll see but it's got the, the old school plastic bed liner i'm probably gonna get this all diamond plated or whatever however you call it here, there and and here as well but everything is in good shape man it's uh huh i never i never tried to open this this is you're seeing it first guys i don't know this might be might be some problems with the uh tailgate so i'll have to figure that out but all in all this is a it's in pretty good shape more stuff wrong with it than i thought unfortunately just cosmetics but um but yeah do not regret this purchase. I'll show you guys the door. The driver's door is a little bit more worn out than the passenger, as you can imagine. Yeah, there's some definitely some uh, broken plastic here. There's a crack right here. Um, this thing isn't in. You can tell this is only 78,000 miles by how worn out the seat is, which there's there's nowhere. There's nowhere on the steering wheel. I pulled this back already pedals they're dirty but nowhere on the plastic yeah this thing is definitely low miles so let's talk some numbers because that was a big reason why i bought this vehicle so i sold the jeep for forty six thousand five hundred dollars i bought it for thirty six thousand um you know i drove it for two years i put 10 into it so i pretty much broke even on it so that's what i like to do with vehicles the same thing with the black jeep i think um i lost like two grand over three years with the black jeep so i just can't get my head around why you would go out and pay fifty sixty thousand dollars for a new vehicle 
you know, have it for three to five years and sell it for 20 grand. Like you lose so much money. That is stupid time stupid. So that was the idea behind this vehicle is I think it's the next one to blow up like the Ford Broncos. Right now they're selling Ford Broncos with 200,000 miles on them for like 20 grand if they're in really good shape. So it's just stupid to find one that's such low miles under 100,000. I think this uh, vehicle is actually going to appreciate over the next few years. I think I'm going to have this as a work truck. I don't drive very much and I'm going to end up selling it more than what I bought it for. So I'm going to be fixing it up. I'm going to be keeping it pretty original and I think I'm going to be driving this vehicle for free. So I was thinking, you know, what can I get as a work truck that I could just spend a few thousand on? Went down the YouTube rabbit hole and found OBS Fords and I was like, man, this would be dope as a work truck, as a YouTube truck. You know, I could do some cool mods to it. And uh, overall, you know, it just brings me back to to uh, simpler times back in the 90s, um, you know, when I was growing up and my grandpa and uncles and, you know, they all, they all had uh, trucks like this. So can't wait to get started on this project. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, leave some comments down below of any suggestions that you guys have. I'm running into videos now um, of these trucks and people do some dope things to these trucks. And uh it's, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna be going to the junkyard trying to find parts and stuff like that. It's, it's gonna be an awesome new project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.